Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Weimark CA, and that is Canada, not California. Just be aware of that. Um, yep, it is Canada. I know it's misleading to some of you that may be used to CA being the abbreviation for California, but it is Weimark Canada. This is by Mappers Paradise. It is the whopping 502.38 megabytes to download, so half a gig to download this bad boy, and it is for all platforms. I'm going to start off by reading the, uh, excuse me, reading the description, and we'll go ahead and get into it from there. It says, welcome to Weimark CA map. The map is based on a small town of Weimark in Canada. In addition to the cultivation and production of grain, this farm is also involved in the large production of grain seeds. If you start the map on new farmer difficulty, you are given the opportunity to manage this farm with all the equipment you'll need for the job. On the map, you will find the following. Three pre-placed farms, the main one that belongs to you at the start, and two that in order to use it, you have to buy the land first. Main farm comes with starting vehicles and equipment, three fields and seed production facility. 44 farmlands, 33 fields from small to big, two of which are grass missions, one small forestry site, traffic, pedestrians, Saskatchewan, Canada, license plates, custom crop calendar, train that will take your goods to Swift Current, the train cell point, BGA, and then production's available. It says sawmill, dairy, gray mill. It will also take your durum wheat and turn it into durum flour, which is needed to produce pasta in the local bakery. Um... Bakery with a new product, pasta, as we just mentioned. Multi-product seed production plant, wheat seed, which you will be able to use for your own needs, and four more new ones, lentil seeds, pea seeds, durum seed, and barley seed, which you'll be able to sell at the local purchase station. For seed production, you will need the appropriate grains, uh, herbicide, and liquid fertilizer. Tanks for buying fertilizers, herbicides, and lime are already pre-placed on the main farm. Added liquid trailer for transport of liquid fertilizer and herbicide, and you can find it in the miscellaneous category. Selling stations are the grain sell point, farmer's market will take you production goods, or take your production goods, bale sell point, train sell point, additional items on the map include three new crops, durum wheat, peas, and lentils. And in addition to that, there's no required mods, which I love. Oh my goodness, it might be a big download for the map, but I'd rather have that than any required mods, so beautiful. Um, here's the map. New farm mode, you own this whole chunk of land here, so quite a big operation you got. Um, the other farms, I'm assuming one is right there. Um, maybe another, no, that's a sell point. Maybe, oh, probably right there, maybe. Maybe that's the other one. Uh, we're going to buy a land in a second anyways, but I was just kind of curious looking at it. Uh, custom crop calendar, so make sure you're paying attention to that. And you have durum wheat, peas, and lentils as new products, which you can see those up over here as well. Do we have any out there? Oh, we have durum wheat on one of our fields. We have peas out there. Oh, maybe down there. Peas down there, and then lentils. Lots of lentils. So we'll kind of get to take a look at the, I'm curious what the durum wheat's going to look like. Is it, uh... It's ready to harvest. Okay, so we have um, we have wheat and durum wheat. So I'm, we'll go walk over there and take a look at the difference in those two. I'm very curious. Um, in here, new products. We have durum wheat, peas, lentils, durum seed, barley seed, pea seed, lentil seed. So you can sell those. Um, I'm assuming you can't use those in your cedar. Um, then durum flour and pasta. We do have quite a bit of equipment. We'll take a look at that in a second in the store. $100,000 in new farmer mode. No starting loan. No animal pen starting out. There are contracts in the fields you do not own. Some of them are quite nice. Um, production. You do own the seeds. So... Seeds wheat is just going to give you regular seeds, which makes sense why you're able to use it. Then durum, barley, peas, and lentil seeds are, again, you're going to have to, uh, well, those, well, it says seeds are, I guess, they're different types. You're going to have to sell those ones. But anyhow, there's one collectible. Wow. It's got to be a valuable collectible. Um, we'll see if we find it. I doubt we will. Um, let's go ahead and bump time up to about noon so we can walk around with a little bit more, uh, more light. Actually, they didn't change things a whole lot. I'm assuming this thing actually is... Solve the six clues in order to find where the stolen item was hidden for a million dollars. That's kind of cool. Uh, where Canada's favorite fort is. This is really cool. It's like a scavenger hunt. That's brilliant. I love that. Um, that's really cool. We're not going to do that on here uh, because I don't want to give it away. You guys can have that fun solving it. That's very cool, though. I like that. I've never seen that on a map. So well done, Mapper's Paradise. I like that. Um, no leased items. Uh, for starting out equipment, we have a John Deere 6120M. Sorry, I had a sneeze there. We have John Deere 9620RX and a John Deere 8R410. We also have a Mac Anthem 6x4. We have a big old John Deere X9. Um, we also have a big grain header for that and a big corn header. And we have a header trailer as well. Oops, nope, wanted to stay in there. Uh, we do have a pickup truck starting out, which we'll use, I'm sure, at some point. We have a big Pace Setter Wilson trailer there. We have two, or a Flegel and then a Rudolph as well. We also have a Elmer Hallmaster. We have a large cultivator, large cedar, Large planter. This is also direct real planter. Uh, we have a huge roller, a mega roller. Uh, we have a John Deere uh, front loader attachment there. And then front loader tools, we just have a pallet fork. We have a John Deere weight. We 
We have a couple of belt systems in here for our silos, I'm assuming. And finally, we have this little liquids trailer, um, which holds these guys. It's part of the mods for the map. But to see if there's anything else in there. Nope, just this guy, which makes sense. This is so you can haul your stuff to your seed uh, production if you'd like to. Uh, but yeah, very cool. So we're here. Yeah, our truck should be in our garage, which I love that you can open the garage. And it's a two-car garage at that. I'm assuming we have a sleep trigger somewhere around here. Maybe not. Oh, well, we can go inside this house. I just saw stuff inside there. I was just going to walk around the outside. Let's actually go on this bad boy. Oh, this is a beautiful house. I love this. Beautiful. Then when it's back behind here, yep, there is your sleep trigger. And this is going to be your wardrobe right there. So perfect. Got those guys. I'm not going to tour the whole house. I think I saw everything in there. Yeah, oh, it's farmhouse two. The farmhouse two you can also go into. Be like a little out building here for your workers to live in if you need that. See if we can find the sleep trigger in here. This one might make me walk all the way through it. There we go. Another sleep trigger there. So, oh, and you have an our wardrobe trigger as well, which is quite nice. So, yeah, you got everything you need on here too. Sleep triggers and everything. Um, just across the way, we have another little shed here. If I walk right through that door. That might be a little bit of a. Yep, that might need a collision on it, but it does open, so you don't have to drive through it. Um, over here like a lime uh, storage facility. Yep, lime silo there holds uh, 300,000 liters, which is quite nice. Oops, Get stuck on that. Lots of little silos here and there. I don't think these are all usable. I think it's just, yeah, there's one big grain silo over there. So I think these are just more decorative. I'm assuming, I'm hoping, it'd be a lot of silos. Um, you, yeah, decoration silos, you can sell them, which is quite nice. Um, I don't think there's anything over here yet. Just a bunch of silos. It does go out that way as well. So a bunch of deco silos there. Let's see if we can walk into this one. Nope, that one has a collision on it. Opens up slowly. Nothing in there right now. Just nice storage hall for us. We'll run out here. Here we have our liquid uh, fertilizer tank here. For, well, I guess herbicide or liquid fertilizer. And then here, these guys are all decorative as well. I'm assuming we can sell these guys off as well. Decorative silos, those are all one set there. That's a fertilizer silo. Okay, and that's our silo comp. Holy smokes, if you needed some money, you could sell that bad boy really quick. Uh, okay, looks like we have a couple silos though, because we got this guy right here, this is our seed silo. Let's open this facility up here. There's a bunch of our big equipment in there, and you can see the drive through. That backward door will open there for you. It's quite nice. Seed silo here. These guys are over here to be able to use the seed production point, which looks like it's part of this all this building here. Fertilizer silo there. Got another big storage facility out here. Oops, I can open it. And repair trigger as well, which is quite nice. So you got that right there if you need to use it. Plenty of storage and things in there. Nice decorations and decorative things. Our main grain silo over there. We'll go over there in a second. Fuel point right there. Assuming that back point where we're going to get the seeds out is using that um, conveyor on the back. And here's our seed production, which is nice and set up. Oh, these are these oh, they're movable. I don't think these are actual. Kind of indicates they're movable. Can I move these with super strength? I can. I think these are decorative pallets, but that's kind of funny. I can move them around. Um, sorry, just had to check that. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, okay, yeah, that's where you get your seeds out the back from your seed silo. Fuel tank right there, and this is the back portion of that big barn. And up over here, the only other thing we have is this huge, massive silo right here, which is absolutely enormous. Huge silo complex. Very North American. Huge. But yeah, uh, one thing I want to do real quick. So we've seen all the land that we have. That's by all the land. And we'll see, yep, there's one farm there. And I bet the other one is, yep, right there. Okay, so that one has an old cow barn in a farmhouse. This one has a fertilizer silo, refillable liquid silo, grain silo, lime silo, and farmhouse, which is nice. But we are going to hop into our truck. Of course, I opened the wrong door earlier. Oh, I didn't want to grab you. I forgot I had super strength on. That'll work. Oh, nope, didn't want to pause the game. Let me <laughs> 
forget how to control everything. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we'll drive through since we're right across the street from it. We'll drive through the farm that's right across the way. There we go. Everything's good. Don't worry about it. Farmhouse there. Shed there. Another shed there. Another shed there. I'm assuming this one also needs a, a collision. Yeah, I can just sneak right in there. Easy peasy. Oop. The walls do have collisions, though. There we go. Okay. We'll keep going here because they got all their little silos and storages back this way. Some storage stuff back here. Another shed. And that's that. Now. Uh, out there. Oh, it's a water tank. Okay. We're going to. Oh, we didn't look at the wheat. Let's go out and look at the wheat real quick. I'll hop back over in a second. So this is regular wheat. Looks familiar. That's because it's regular wheat. Durham wheat. Okay. Like a lighter wheat. Nice. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I just had to check that. Very curious. Um, since we're down over here as well, we can look at the lentils, which are right here. Here's your lentils. And then I do want to go take a look. I'm just going to zoom down here real quick. This is, I think, just oats. Yep. Yeah, oats here. And the, the peas are down here at the bottom. I'll go down to this other field. Oh, they're harvested. All right, well, are there any peas that are ready to harvest? Oops. Those ones are not. Those ones are ready to harvest. All right, well, we'll try to take a look at those if I remember. Uh, if not, it's just a spoiler for you there. So we got a water point. We're going to take a left, go down here. We'll take a look at some of the stuff over here and then work our way up here and probably end out over there. But yeah, that's our plan. little map i like it plenty of space on here so i know a lot of you guys will really enjoy that aspect of it most of the places are pretty worker friendly there's your water point right there we'll keep going your shop's down there we'll go ahead and take a right and just go drive by it real quick i think just the shop down there yep we have the sawmill dead ahead sawmill's right here and the uh, train saddle i believe is oh i did not want to do that train saddle i believe is just behind it okay when i bumped the e key on accident All right, nice John Deere dealer. Beautiful. I'm assuming they have, yep, the repair trigger is going to be in those garages there, I bet. All right, we'll get back on the main road and cruise up the map to finish out our drive through before we do our flyover. And I'm assuming, yep, railroad style is just behind there. We'll actually just cut across real quick so we can go take a look at it and then we'll drive up that way and back onto the main route. So you got your lovely little railroad silo here. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy about it, honestly. Plenty of space out there to turn around and get vehicles in and out and stuff like that, which is nice. Go across the tracks here. Easy does it. Tracks almost took me out. And up here on the left-hand side, we have ourselves a sheep pasture, a cow pasture, and an animal dealer. Now I'm assuming, well, we do get those now that we, we do get, you can buy these pastures. It's kind of nifty. They're right here. Usually they're just decorative, I feel like, but you can buy them. Oh, there's the animal dealer point right there. Now back through here in the back of this, this is the other farm, I believe. Yeah, right through here. So we have the a house and a cab barn just back over there. Um, so nothing crazy. It's kind of nice that the animal farm is right across from the animal dealer. Makes that a little bit easier. Uh, down the left, of a gas station down there. We might as well go just cruise down here a second, take a look at it. Here's our gas station right here. I like the gas station, actually. It looks quite nice. Yeah, I like it. it looks very, very like uh, custom small towny gas station like, which I like. All right. We are going to curve a left here hopefully without getting in a collision. All right, right hand side. Right here, we have ourselves the dairy point, and then up here, we have a bakery. And we have our, what's our we have special grain mill or something anywhere? Pasta, pasta production, right? Is on here. Crazy, right? Durham wheat, pasta. Where's that all at? Bet you it has to do with the bakery, then maybe. 
Do you think there'd be a grain mill as well? I guess that's the grain. No, nope, that's the biogas plant. Huh. Well, I bet you the bakery is part of the pasta production or is the pasta production. Nice little school buses there. I like that. A little school bus depot. We'll purchase the bakery. Why not? We're here. Uh, bakery. Yep. There's your pasta right there. Uh, but how to get Durham flour? Not a clue. Not a clue. Um, is there a special production in here? Let's see production. The grain mill. The grain mill's not modified. It just does regular flour. And I didn't see a. Huh. Interesting. I'm looking over grain mill. It will also take during. Where is the grain mill? Am I missing it? Am I crazy? What in the world? I'm just not seeing it. Am I somehow, am I missing it? If I'm missing it, I do apologize, but I am just not seeing it on the map. Um, That's the BGA. Farmer's Market. Feed and Grain. Some of my just mislabeled. Dairy Bakery. Uh, Bale Cell Point. Railroad. Sawmill. Grain Silo Shop. I don't see... I don't see the custom grain mill on here. And we own all the land, so it's not like it'll show up if we buy the land. We own all of it. That is so bizarre. So I don't know. I think it's missing that. I could be wrong. If I'm missing something, please let me know down in the comments, and I do apologize about that. But I think I am. I think it's just not on here. Right-hand side over there, we have a grain cell point. That is the feeding grain south. Then we have the farmer's market on our left-hand side. And as we work our way up here, we have the BGA, which is our final point. See, that looks like a grain mill right there wonder is it not just labeled on the map this is driving me crazy see, this looks like a grain mill but i don't see like a wrench anywhere huh yeah consider me kerfuffled i am thoroughly kerfuffled because that's a seed production yeah i don't know Gotta not be on here. There's no way. If I missed it, I will feel real dumb. Real dumb. But anyhow. Okay, let's do a quick flyover and wrap this tour up. We've been going for we've been going for long enough, that's for sure. Maybe we'll see in our place it looks like a potential green mill, but I don't see one. Gosh, it bothers me. Okay. <laughs> it's just not on here. So as you can see, um, uh, there's plenty of space on this map, and the fields are all very large, worker-friendly type fields. Um, there's the the barn or the farm with the cow barn on it. Railroad silo there, you see the vehicle shop at the very bottom, the sawmill there on the right-hand side. Any uh, hidden grain mills in the woods? No, nope, don't see them. Okay, perfect. Plenty of space down here. The only fields that are like super weird are these two over here, honestly, but everything else is pretty normal. The starting farm is absolutely massive and impressive. And there's another farm again across the street, so if you wanted more space, you could easily buy that. And get some more that way. Why are these guys over here? They're like little signs. Little flag areas. This has a sign. It doesn't have to show anything on it, but that's pretty cool. Okay. And then, yeah. And then up here we have some more square fields. And then it curves back into the town. The grain mill this town. Which has confused me. But... Yeah, don't know about that. All right, well, there you go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.